Hi, I'm Nancy Wolf, an interior designer and educator, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about how I got my career started. As a very young girl, my grandmother owned apartments, and we constantly redecorated them. They were always furnished, so I could hardly wait so I could go and rearrange the furniture with her. She also taught me how to paint and wallpaper. I remember going to Catholic school and the nuns, I had white paint in my hair or something, and the nuns said, why do you have paint in your hair, Nancy? And I said, well, I was painting with my grandmother. And the nuns thought that couldn't be possible. I must be much too young, maybe seven years old at the time and my grandmother must be too old to be doing that. But anyway, that's how I got started. That's how the inspiration happened. And then uh, as I got married, had children, I still had that passion. I loved decorating every home I moved into and eventually decided that I might as well go to school and become educated as an interior designer. Over the years, I work with architectural firms and I did both residential and commercial interior design, loving both very much. And then I moved to Las Vegas from California in 1979 and started working in one of my most exciting jobs, which was the Dunes Hotel, which is no longer here, but it was fabulous then. And I became the interior design coordinator for the beautiful round building that went out to the corner. What I did was what I call a master plan. I did it in steps and stages so that I could create everything that I created by taking care of each individual thing. Like when I selected the lighting or the color scheme or the wall covering, this was all a process that I would do. And everyone really loved what I was doing and kept asking me questions and saying, well, how did you possibly do such a big job? And I said, well, I went to school, I learned how to do it. And they'd come back and they would say to me, what school? Well, at that time in Las Vegas, there was not a school at all for interior design. And even UNLV did not have an interior design program. So I got the inspiration that it would be really fabulous if I could help others do what I've done, have a lot of joy in their life doing interior design. I eventually decided that it would be very inspiring for myself and maybe everyone else if I could start my own school of interior design. I called on Ron Barron, who owned the school that I went to in Newport Beach, and he assisted me in starting the very first school in Nevada for interior design. I named my school the Interior Design Institute. And as it grew over the years, I brought on other programs such as graphic design, architectural design, and even engineering. Therefore, I dropped the interior part of the name and it became the Design Institute. And as the school kept growing, the Art Institutes International became very interested in acquiring the school. And they negotiated with me. It was a wonderful situation. They came in and they moved it to this beautiful location at Green Valley Parkway in the 215. It is now in over 65,000 square feet and has many, many programs that they have added since they purchased the school from me. So I was for two years the president of that school and I traveled all over the country perfecting the interior design program in all of their schools so that they could coordinate from area to area the educational program. I want to tell you a little bit about my passion for interior design and my passion for teaching you about interior design. I have developed over the years a program that's fail safe. Anyone, if they do this program, which I call the master plan, it has seven keys. If anyone does this, they will have a beautiful project. It takes you step by step from start to finish. And I'm going to be showing you some examples today of how one particular project came together in a flash. Today as an interior designer, it's really necessary to rethink spaces, to reuse things, we're getting into this green philosophy of where we don't just throw things out and buy new furniture and start over again. So the philosophy in the one I'm going to show you was that we would take everything that they already owned, reuse it, 
but we would change everything, the whole envelope, all the walls, the ceiling, the floors, all of those things, and create newness. This home is located in Red Rock, an exclusive gated community. When you go in and you look at the gorgeous stairway that just curves up and is absolutely beautiful with a beautiful light fixture hanging down and you go into this master bedroom up at the top of the stairs through a rotunda, you begin to see that, oh my goodness, maybe changing this would be good because it was using a lot of color. We wanted to calm it down, uh, make it a little more neutral, uh, bring it into today because it had been done many years ago. So we got rid of the red ceiling in the bathroom and the red border that was going around the room and we actually smoothed all the walls and used Venetian plaster. Now as you can see it is quite a process to take off old wall covering and a lot of people that do it say they'll never wallpaper again. <laughs> However what the result was that we got that wallpaper off and we began to treat the walls for the Venetian plaster. Now a very special part of this job was that I only worked with the husband where I normally work with the husband and the wife, but he was doing this entire job to surprise her. She lives in Minnesota with him part of the time, in Las Vegas with him part of the time, and Cabo San Lucas part of the time. So here we were in Las Vegas, this, her husband and I, planning this whole surprise. And it was just an enormous undertaking. It took months to do. And to surprise her, I, that meant I would never spoke with her. So everything that I did, I had to hold my breath and hope that it was going to work out, that in the end, that she was going to love it. So in the big reveal, when that happened, I had a florist come in. We had roses everywhere. It was absolutely stunning. The inspiration was to create an environment that was very elegant and sophisticated and at the same time had that feeling of opulence that the client was looking for. Now, since the master retreat had such a beautiful view of the city, I decided not to use traditional drapery treatments and all that fabric and instead used a lambrequin, which is a cornice box with legs. In other words, it goes up over and around and frames the window much like a picture frame, only using beautiful padded soft fabric. And then the doors fold out. And as they fold out, you see the beautiful patio. And from the patio, you see the golf course, actually a double golf course. And from there, you see the view of all of Las Vegas. As an interior designer, I have to say that I'm never finished with my own home. And the client was the same way. As we did the master retreat, he decided that let's do the wonderful entrance. And so we painted that as well as did some of the Venetian plaster and the lovely ceiling. The ceiling, we used the same teddy bear color as well as a light color and a metallic color on the ceiling in the oval entry. Absolutely a fabulous result. I hope today I was able to awaken your passion for interior design and then maybe you can use my seven keys to the master plan.